All right, so this is week three, episode one, or I'm not really sure how I'm going to lay this out, but it's the first day of training for my week three. Hitting bench, uh, this will be an all-time baby. I've got 152 and a half for a triple. We're looking at sitting between the RP9 and 10 range as week three, so it's the, the peak of this block. Um, I'm going to start warming up right away. I've just got press-ups to do. I've warmed up my rotator cuffs and everything. It's a bit chilly in the gym today, so being really diligent with the training and warm up. So I will chuck uh, probably a 15 on each side, uh, 50 kilo total, and uh, get a good solid warm up in, and then we'll start getting into the bench. But I'm excited for today. This is my comp PB for a triple, so pretty exciting. Okay. So I've done a set of press ups. Now I'm going straight into 50 kilos, bang this for quite a few reps, and then uh, 70, 120, all my warm ups up in the corner about now. Um, but yeah, the 70, 120, 10 kilo jumps all the way up to 152 and a half, basically. And then, yeah, my top set. I like to make my last jump uh, a seven and a half kilo jump just because I'm a creature of habit, but I'm sure everything will be fine. So, when I said 120, obviously I meant 70. Um, wasn't thinking too much, but hey, 70 now. Kills. One twenty next. Okay, one twenty. Um, I'm experiencing a slight dip in blood sugar, so um, the warm ups are going to be a bit slower until this starts to rise. I've done what I can just now, so I'll just wait and uh, see what rises. Take this warm up just the same. One twenty triple. Body's obviously cooled off a little bit, so taking a really slow, perfect setup, etc. <laughs> Felt alright, not great, but as I say, we'll continue doing our 10 kilo jumps. Hopefully, recovered from this hypo now. Gonna try 130 now. Quick, uh, and probably do a double with this and then move on. One forty-five, so this will be my oh crap. One forty-five, so this will be my last warm-up. Seven and a half off my top set, and then uh, we'll jump into it. So one forty-five, I'll do this for a single. Right, so this is uh, the top set, 152 and a half. Hit this for a triple, hopefully. Everything goes smoothly. Obviously, it's not been the cleanest of warm ups due to diabetes, but hey, we work with what we can work with. So, first first day, hopefully, we'll make this, make this fly, hopefully. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
press. Next one. Press. Oh. That's so annoying. Do it again. What, all set or just... Okay, so, basically, my setup was just a little bit scuffed. Caused a little bit of an issue. Hit the rack. Um, not my confidence and stuff. So, decided we will retake. Well, attempt to retake and see how we go. I'll sit further down, get a little bit of a lift off. Hopefully that will make everything a bit smoother. But let's see. <laughs> Nice one. Press. Come on. Same again, you got it. Press. Go on. Everything's cramping. Pec, back, hips. Anyway, that's fine. Basically done four reps with it anyway, so we'll take that. Anyway, so a few things to fix, but anyway, that's still all-time PB, so no complaints. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move on to some... Actually, that's probably going to be the end of today. Uh, move on to my squats. A pretty big day then. And uh, my deadlifts and maybe a bit of accessories. <laughs> this kind of going to be just a highlight reel of the week. But yeah, pretty happy with bench. And uh, I'll see you on my squats. But yeah, as I say, week three is a bit unpredictable. My week three bench is are always kind of like this. I always seem to seem to blunder my week three benches because week one and week two are pretty intense. I think that on that first set, I probably got the triple, but is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching this segment. I'll see you in the squats. Okay, so quickly now talk about what happened. So basically hit the rack uh, on, the, on the set, which is pretty annoying. Uh, the top set. Second one got two and a half reps, so that is still a really good outcome. Uh, I will gain a lot out of these sets. So, see, got stuck on the lower half of this, and uh, there's nowhere. I, I wasn't going anywhere, so nothing I could do. What I'm going to try and do uh, on these uh, back offs, we're going to move this down one, uh, which we've done. We've moved it down one pin, well, up one pin, so the bar sits a bit lower, and hopefully that'll negate us hit this, but we'll see. We'll figure out on the setup. As I say, pretty happy with it. Um, but we'll see how the backups go. I've got two triples at 140 now, which should be kind of easy. We'll see how the setup goes, and uh, yeah, next time we'll, we'll give it a bash. So back with 140, we'll see how this feels. Should feel pretty good, as I say. Like it's not the craziest um, amount of weight. It is a different rack height, so it's going to feel pretty interesting for me. But I'm looking forward to it. It's something new, and it may give me more efficiency in my press. And uh, you know that is something that we want to strive for as powerlifters, so, so we'll figure this out and see how we get on. But yeah. Right, let's see how we go. Honestly, not too bad, but it is different. I'm definitely going to need a lift off at this rack height, um, which we'll try on the next one. But yeah, because I'm using quite a lot of pressing power to just get initially up and top end weights, it's just, it's not going to happen. And like 100% honestly, I'm not going to be able to unrack my top end. So yeah, definitely this rack height with a lift off and we should be in the right position for uh, optimizing my bench. So let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so final final attempt, gonna get a wee lift out on this one, and uh, we'll see if that's gonna be my next, uh, the way I bench from now on, but we'll see. Obviously, Elico Rack has different rack heights as well, so there is somewhere in between these. I think they're all they're all half inch holes on Elico. I couldn't tell you, honestly, off the top of my head, but yeah, so we'll see. See how this goes, and uh, but I think this will probably be the more optimal way to train. But obviously, all the curveballs is all the situations you might have to deal with on comp day, so can't hurt. Right, let's go. Well, that's me uh, done bench, so I will, as I said earlier, see you on the squats, but um, 
yeah, still happy with the session. Obviously salvaged, so no complaints there, but thanks for watching this part. Okay, welcome to the second segment of the vlog. We're squatting. I've already done my 70 kilo warm up, so I'll be loading right up to 120. I'll get my knee sleeves on. Today I'm rocking some rigor mortis A7 sleeves. Just trying to figure out what sleeves I really want to use in comp before you know I acquire the pair I'm going to use. So checking out these uh, extra stiff sleeves and uh, we'll see if it's worth it, if the pain is worth it for this competition. But yep, I'll load 120 and then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so after taking the complete piss with A7 rigor mortis, I couldn't get them on at all. So that's a no go for comp. We're not gonna roll with them. I'm probably, in, I must be a 2XL now. So I am not. Uh, managed to get them on one leg, but I couldn't get them on the other. So we're calling it there. Leave it, just leave it out. Um, I'm gonna roll with the SPDs. I really like the SPDs. So I'll get a fresh pair for a comp and uh, that'll be, you know, what we roll with. So jump under the bar. Get my 120 warm up done and uh, keep jumping up. Should be recoverable at this point. Hopefully, not too much wasted energy. I do have isotonic beverages with me, so figure it out. Let's go. Let's roll. Feeling really good, so next jump 170, we'll keep rolling. Cool. Right, so 75 kilos on the bar. Um, everything so far feeling pretty solid, so I just wanted to go at the same rate we're going just now. Uh, obviously, I feel pretty good, so all that really matters just now, and uh, just gonna keep cracking on, doing things right. Okay, so I've loaded uh, 230 on the bar, got the calibrated collars out, and uh, I'm gonna do a single with this, and then I'll load 245. Um, this is a pretty big PB, but it's a pretty essential part of prep. We're getting closer to that, you know, peak sort of weight that we wanna hit before we go into competition. So, yep, I will set up the tripod, uh, and uh, hopefully dominate this weight. Should should feel pretty, percent I'm super warm after trying to get those sleeves on and off but uh, we'll see if we get on Like really badly. <laughs> Top set, 245s, and uh, yeah, let's triple it. Hopefully, no problems doing this, but who knows? We'll see. Come on! Come on. <laughs> Oh, 
<sighs> okay, so uh, I've done my first back off. The 240 moved, sorry, 245 moved really well. Very happy with it. Um, as I say, we're, <laughs> we've got so much time in prep, like things are going ridiculously well. Um, I've got shoulder day, shoulder and accessory day, and uh, deadlifts left of this week. And I feel surprisingly super fresh. I think I'll probably have some doms in uh, tomorrow morning because on the second rep, I kind of lost my upper thoracic um, tightness. Don't really know what happened. Managed to recover it for the third, and that moved a lot better. But yeah, one more set of this, and then uh, we're done with squats. And then that'll be the end of the video because obviously this is a mash and uh, a mash of all my highlights of the week. So yeah, I'll be done with the video after that. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get this last set, and then I'll do mini outro for this segment. But thanks for watching so far. <laughs> Okay, so super good result for this uh, this squat day. Got a PB triple, so pretty good. And uh, you can debate whether it's a, a lower RP than it was, so that's a good sign. Um, I'm just going to hurry up and get the rest of my session done, and then I'll start filming back up again when the, the deadlifts come around. But super happy with the day, and uh, the progress back offs 220 is just basically no weight now, so we're, we're very happy with that. Um, pretty much, you know, starting to get pretty confident now for a comp. Um, I know what sleeves I'm going to be wearing, like everything's set, so I'm pretty ready, pretty excited. So, yeah, so uh, I'll get back on the deadlift and that's Okay, so um, I'm in the process of loading 120. Um, this will be a second warm up, I've done 70 already. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, just talking through this intro pretty casually. We're gonna lock in for this today. So we do want a dub. But things will be good. Things will be good. Okay, I'm gonna stretch out my calves, and then uh, yeah, we'll get into some some sets. <laughs> I didn't film the loading of this, which was a bit of a blunder, but um, mainly because I'm just trying to get my mind right, get myself, you know, slightly mentally prepared for this. And I'm going to get a bit of chalk on my hands, and then we're going to roll. Okay, so um, 170 feeling uh, as good as it usually feels. <sighs> Still pretty early to tell what's going on in uh, the old body. So up, up to two reds now, and we'll, uh, we'll get a better idea of where we're at. So getting it up, getting it loaded. Yeah, pretty chuffed. But we'll see where we are. So this will be my, uh, I don't know, well, kind of, Big warm up, last big jump, and then we'll uh, get closer to working weight. So I'll go from 220 to 245, and then 245 to 260. So it's just a top single today, so things shouldn't be too too difficult. But as I say, we'll have to see. I'll have to see how we get on. So we'll get the hook grip going on this one, and then uh, that'll be it. Hopefully, up to our our second, our, well, our last warm up. <laughs> Okay, so time to chuck a green and a two and a half on. It's a uh, last warm up. So 
basically that uh, that 220 looked and felt a lot better than uh, than I was expecting. Mainly because uh, I think my body's quite fresh. You know that week two doing speed reps is a fairly low load for my body, and uh, there's no complaints there. Right, that's it loaded. I'll take a couple minutes more to rest, and then uh, I will jump in to uh, to my uh, my single. Okay, so 2:45 uh, last warm up here. I'll be uh, quick single, so I'll chalk up, get ready for hook, and then uh, bring it out. Should hopefully be a fairly easy single. Okay, so we are loading 260 now, and then, uh, yeah, I'll oh, we'll do the big kahuna, and uh, that'll be us done. Then I've got this for back off. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty good. Pretty chuffed, pretty happy. So, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves ready for that. So I'm pretty excited for this set. Oh. So this will officially be an all-time PB, um, single, and also in terms of recently. So uh, yeah, pretty good. I also have a PB back off afterward, which is pretty nice. So not complaining whatsoever. Pretty much ready to go. We'll just uh, let the bar rest, get myself ready, get in the right mindset, and then uh, full send it. Okay, that is a uh, 260 loaded. So we're looking at four reds and a blue. Perfect. So hopefully we're going to make this fly. I want it to probably sit at about uh, an RP8 sort of single. My single skills aren't as uh, as brushed up as they used to be. Um, I've not done a single for near enough 10 months on deadlift. So we're hoping that uh, all goes well. Hey, okay, let's. Uh, I'll get chalked up and then it's uh, go time. <laughs> Okay, so that moved extremely well. Coach has given the, the go ahead for a 270 single. So uh, we're gonna load that up and then fuck the back offs because uh, there's no need. Apparently that would be too high intensity for me. So yeah, we're just gonna and, uh, make it happen, why not? Okay, so um, that's my deadlifts done. Um, no back downs because 270 is a big load. So, yep, uh, all done for the session today. But it was uh, really productive. Can't complain, that's the end of my block. Uh, round out the block with a 670 uh, weekly total, which is 15 kilos over my comp PB, which is kind of just ridiculous. Majority of it is for reps as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. The momentum has been crazy, and uh, I think it's continuing to get better and better, really, every single time. So, absolutely zero complaints there. We're just going to keep riding this wave. Uh, next block, I'm sure I will get another PB on everything. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, I've got a post on my Instagram of the block highlights. They'll all be below. But obviously, it's nothing you won't find in this video. Um, if we count my bench singles and stuff like that, such and my estimated one right backs, you know, 
we're looking in that 710 range. So we're right on schedule, reducing by 100 calories every week still as well. Uh, just trying to get that weight into like water cut territory. But um, yeah, apart from that, everything's going extremely well. Um, so thank you for watching um, the week three vlog. Uh, as I say, I'm going to try and pump out more content soon. But um, that's it for me for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the squats, bench and deadlift. So, yep, I will catch you in the next block. As I say, on to my deload now. So get to enjoy that. And uh, yeah, right. Thanks again. Peace.